Hey everyone, lately I've got a lot of questions from you guys about manual testing, automation testing. Some of you guys don't know what it is. Some of you want to know which one is better, more efficient, faster to learn, easier to learn, which one will get you more money, etc, etc, etc. So I decided to record one podcast and answer most of your questions. Actually, I've separated three most common and most important questions, answers to which you need to know. So those are number one, what is manual testing? and what is automation testing. Number two, why are both of them so important? And actually, which one is more important to know? And lastly, we're going to find out which one will get you a job in a faster and much easier way. But before we get into it, let me introduce myself. My name is Sergey Kromchenko. I am a founder of Comify QA Bootcamp. I've been helping people to become a software QA engineers from scratch or to upgrade your existing skills. I've been working as the QA engineer lead manager, automation lead and a senior engineering manager of ASDET for about nine years. Anyways, enough is enough. Today is the time when we're going to talk about test automation and manual testing. So let's get started. Let's talk about manual testing. What is manual testing? In a very simple words, manual testing is a process when we are utilizing our hands and we, for example, type in codemify.com and hit enter. Then we open up, we see the homepage. And as a QA engineer or a manual QA engineer, we need to manually test this website, which means we're going to be using our hands, we're going to be clicking the buttons and verifying an outcome. So, for example, let's say that we need to verify that we have certain amount of courses under plans and prices menu tab. So I'm going to mouse hover courses and I'm going to click, I'm going to close this window, I'm going to click plans and prices. And then when we navigate to this page, we will see four plans. All of those four plans are available for, for people to purchase our courses. And as the manual key engineer, we need to verify number one, that all of the texts are displayed in the right fonts, which means in the right size. All of the plans are displaying the correct items or what do they include. All of the plans have correct prices. And you might ask, what is correct? The correct is expected behavior. So you're verifying that whenever you navigate to this page, you can see prices, you can see names of the plans, and you can see detailed information and the register button at the bottom of each plan. By doing this, you will verify that the website shows the information in a way that we expect it. But the next question should be coming from you is, but how do you know what you expect? In software testing or in a manual testing, automation testing, doesn't matter. Generally, in a QA or software testing, you will have documentation. For example, imagine that I have documentation right here that says, hey, the page should look like this and we should have these texts. So I navigate to the page and then I look at the documentation that I have and I verify actual result, what I see on the page with expect result of what is in a documentation. And if both of these results are matching, then we have successfully verified that the actual result equals to expect result. So uh, your job as the manual tester was complete for this specific case. But as you can see, we have a lot of a lot of plans, a lot of prices we need to register. So we do need to click on register now. We do need to verify that there will be certain texts, images, links. We need to verify that all of that functionality and all of the images and all of the user interface looks and functions exactly in a way we expect it to. Before we get to automation, I forgot to ask you guys to give me big fat thumb up right now. As you are watching this video, you are enjoying this video, and I hope you are appreciating the job that I did in order to get you so much of the useful information. Thank you, and let's continue. So this is what the manual testing, when we are doing testing, with our hands. This would be very similar in a test automation. Difference is that we will not manually test it anymore. We are going to have to learn scripting or programming and we're going to write some code so we could simply 
press the button and then wait for the website to uh, open up the page to automatically read all of the texts or all of the prices and just tell us that hey i did see all of the texts and prices there were no errors so we are good test automation is when we write the code and we don't test manually the code will test for us it's just like we're creating the bot that will do our manual job through the code as we are no longer manual tester, now we are automation tester. Now, let's talk about why are both of them so important. Let's start with the manual testing, as without manual testing, there will be no automation testing. So, it is, I would say, first priority for any company to have team that would manually test the application because we need to see and verify that things work in order to know what exactly needs to be automated. For example, we have our comify.com website and it, it is your first day as the QA engineer. If I will tell you that, hey, Sergi, can you please verify that the user can purchase automation course on our website and receive email afterwards? You would ask me, uh, what is the link? What is the website? Uh, which email would I receive, uh, receive it to? What should it look like? In order to answer all those questions, you would have to manually test our application. So that's exactly why manual testing is very important. And also, CAPTCHA. You guys have all seen about CAPTCHA, right? If you did not, please leave a comment below. CAPTCHA is one of the examples as it is impossible to automate the CAPTCHA because it is the purpose of CAPTCHA to verify that you are a human. So that cannot be automated. Then also sound quality, video quality, and the user interface or the website that is changing rapidly cannot or should not be automated because it's just not efficient. Imagine this. Today, I'm going to be creating a new page, but I'm saying, hey, don't automate it yet because maybe in a couple of months we're going to change it so for two months as the q automation engineer you're not going to be automating it you are going to be manually testing it because if you will write test automation you will write the code now in two months i'll say well let's scrap it let's change it completely and your job would be wasted all the code that you have written so that's why manual testing is important on the other side automation testing is very important as well because without automation testing our job would not be as efficient Imagine this, we have Google.com or Facebook or Apple. All of those websites are huge. Imagine if they would have only manual testers. They would need thousands of people. But one automation QA engineer can replace five to 10 manual QAs. Do you know why? Because when you automate tests, just like the one that I just showed you, where we need to come to the page, verify that every piece of text equals to our expected result, that would take you hours to verify into our website, right? But what if you spend a week of your life and you automate all of those cases? That's it. You don't have to manually test them anymore. You will have to support your code. You will have to do some maintenance just like you do with your car. But you will not have to do so much manual work. So that's why automation testing is also as important as manual testing. By the way, guys, if you are interested in the manual testing or automation testing, we do have both courses available with live webinars, mentors, real US-based startups, and myself available to help you to get prepared for an interview and actually to pass that interview. You can find a link to manual testing right here and as automation testing course right there. Now, let's talk about the last one and the most important one for every single one of us. Which one is more on demand and which one will allow you to get a job in a faster, easier and more efficient way? So, let's look at the screen. Now, I'm going, I'm on the LinkedIn.com and I'm, I have just typed in manual testing and hit enter in the search checks box. Now, I'm going to hit jobs and you will see that we do have 5,013 jobs for manual testing. And by the way, these results are approximate as different companies will be using different words, but this is one of the best estimates that we can possibly get. So 5,013 manual QA positions available in the United States of America. What if we type in automation testing and hit enter? Well, now we have 39,030 
two positions. Now you guys can see the results on your own screens with your own eyes. We do have how many? Eight times more test automation positions versus manual testing positions. And I will tell you why. I am a business owner. I don't want to pay money to 10 manual case if I can hire two automation case. And that's exactly why I recommend most of the people who are asking if they could sign up for a manual course and get a job as soon as possible. I'm recommending them to actually go through both courses or full course, which is manual and automation. Number one, you are going to save a lot of your time of looking for a job because because as you can see, you have eight times more chances to get an automation job versus manual testing job. And number two, you will get much more money. Uh, for the manual testing, on average, you will be getting approximately 80,000. It depends. For the automation testing, you will be 100 plus more. On average, our students make about $100,000 as the first job offer. But this is only in the USA. In the different countries, they make different money. We do have students from all the continents in the world, but we can give you guys a good estimate in the US. As in Australia, they give you different money. In Brazil, they will give you different money. In Turkey, in Germany, England, they will pay you different salary. Either way, I highly recommend you guys, if you ever learn, it doesn't matter which course you take, or which school you go to, I would recommend you to learn manual testing and learn automation testing because this will give you a much higher chance to get a job and to get a much higher salary. Also, a lot of schools are lately advertising the cheapest way possible to get into IT. They promise you hundreds of thousands, but let's be realistic. Now there is a recession. It is not as easy to get a job as it was four years ago or even two years ago. Now it's much more challenging, but most of you guys are getting cheaper courses and you, because you don't want to spend your money. I fully understand you. But if you really want to change your life, I would highly recommend you to check out more of our videos of our ex-students who did go through the course, who did get a job, who who did study, they will share their experience about education, they'll share their experience about the interview process, and they'll share their experience about actually working in IT sphere. I'm going to leave a link right there, and also I'm going to leave a lot of links to most of the videos of our students right below this video. Also, if you guys do need to get some answers to your questions, I am available for the call. You can go to our website, which is callmify.com, callmify.com. Com. And you can just call that number that you'll see on the website and one of our employees or myself will jump on a call and help you to get answers to all the questions that you have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that big fat thumb up, subscribe to your channel below and I'll see you next time.